Hello everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 4.7, we're going to practice um, what we've been working on in the last couple lessons, uh, two-digit addition. We're on page 197 of the second grade Go Math textbook. And basically, again, how do you record the steps when adding two-digit numbers? So choose one way to solve the problem. Any of the methods that we've talked about up to this point, um, like compensation, break apart in the break apart the add-ins, using the standard alg algorithm, using models. Okay, so choose one way to solve the, the problem that I give you. All right, after I finish reading the question, <clears throat> uh, pause the video, draw or write to show what you did to record the steps for the two-digit numbers I give you. And then restart the video and see if you came up with some, one of the ways that I am going to do. All right. So there were 45 boys and 63 girls who ran in the race. How many children ran in the race? Again, 45 boys and 63 girls. How many children ran in the race? So go ahead and pause. Choose a way to solve that problem. And then restart the video after you have your sum. All right. Well, let's see. One way we could do it. We could have said 40 plus 5 using the break apart method and 60 plus 3. Add the ones, we get eight ones. Add the hundreds. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Put it back together, 108. So that's one way we could have done it. Let's see, we could have done models. Okay. How many ones do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, tens. Ten tens is a hundred plus the eight ones, one hundred eight. We could have done the standard algorithm. <clears throat> Start by adding the ones. Five plus three is eight. There aren't any ones to regroup. So we would add eight. Add the ten. Six and four is a ten. Okay, there aren't any hundreds, so we don't need to regroup those two tens, uh, ten tens. Okay, so we just write ten. So a hundred. So we didn't need to regroup, so it's a hundred and eight. Okay, so those are a couple ways we could have done it. Okay, if you came up with a different method to do it. Actually, let's, let me go ahead and do one more. Okay. Five plus three, so add the ones. Go ahead and write them. Then 40 plus 60, adding the tens, would be 100. Add those together. 108. Okay. So there's four different ways. Any of those methods would have been would have worked. It was up to you to choose which way you wanted to practice. All right, page 198. <clears throat> Mrs. Myers sold 47 snacks before the game. Then she sold 85 snacks during the game. How many snacks did she sell? So again, when we have for problems, we want to underline the question to make sure we know what we're answering. We need to know how many snacks she sold basically in all, right? 47 before the game, 85 during the game. So we're going to have to add those two add-ins. So step one, add the ones. Seven and five, 12 ones. Well, we have to regroup, right? We're going to regroup 10 of the 12 ones as a 10 and two ones. And so that we see that right here. 
Okay, pretty easy. So two ones, we regroup 10 of the ones as a one, as a 10. Now we're gonna add up our tens. Eight and four is 12, plus the regroup 10 gives us 13 tens. Okay, and we see that right here. 13 tens can be regrouped as 103 tens. There aren't any hundreds to add, so we just go ahead and write 13. All right, so write the sum. Let's add the ones. 8 and 4 is 12. We're going to have to regroup that as 110 and two ones. Now add the tens. 9 and 1 is 10, plus 3 more is 13. 13 tens. So we take 10 of those tens and regroup them as 103 tens. 103 tens. 5 and 2, 7 ones. There's nothing to regroup. Add the tens. 5 and 4 is 9, so we don't need to regroup the tens either. So 97. 3 and 6. That's 9, so we don't have to regroup the 1s. 8 and 7, that's 15 tens, right? Because 7 and 7 is 14, plus the extra from the 8 is 15. 15 tens. Well, we can trade 10 of the tens for 100, and we have 5 tens left, so 159. 6 and 5 is 11 ones. We'd regroup that as 110 and 1 1. Add the tens. 5 and 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. <clears throat> okay, what'd you get for number 5? 3 and 1, 4. We don't need to regroup for the 1. 6 and 5. Well, that's 5 and 5 plus 1. If we break apart the 6. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 1 more is 11. We should just know 6 plus 5 is 11. So 11 is basically 1. We could trade 10 of the 10s for 100, and 1 of the 1s, 1 of the 10s would be left. So 114. 9 and 4 is 13, which means we have to regroup 10 of the 1s as a 10, leaving us 3 1s. Now add the tens, seven and four is 11, plus one more is 12. And we just write 12. But we would think of that as regrouping 10 of the tens as 100, and two tens were left. Okay, let's look at page 199. <clears throat> okay, this is the last page for this lesson. Okay, write the sum. So let's go, step one, add the ones. Seven and two is nine. We don't need to regroup the ones. Add the tens. Five and three is eight. Eighty-nine. Number eight. Eighty-eight plus twenty-one. Add the ones. Eight and one is nine. Now add the tens. Eight and two is ten. Seventy-four plus sixty-seven. That's eleven ones. Regroup as 110 and 11. 7 plus 6 plus 1. Well, if we took the 1 and added it to the 6, that's 7. 7 and 7 is a double, which is 14. So 141. 93 plus 54. You should have gotten 7 ones, which does not require us to regroup. 9 plus 5. Well, we can break the 5 into 1 plus 4. And 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. <clears throat> Number 11, 8 and 2, that's 10, right? So 10 ones, we're going to trade it for a 10. 9 and 1 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17 tens. 17 tens can be written as 107 tens. 6 and 6 is 12 ones. Regroup as 110 and two ones, and now add the tens, five, six, seven. Seven tens, we don't need to regroup any tens. Thirteen, five and one is six ones, nothing to regroup. 
add the tens. Four plus three, seven tens. We don't have to regroup the tens. 43 plus 72, three and two is five. Seven and four. Well, we know seven and three makes a 10. So seven plus four is 11. We would regroup that as one 100 and one 10. All right, 15, without finding the sums. <clears throat> circle the pairs of add-ins for which the sum will be greater than 100. Without finding the sums. Okay, I know that this one has to be greater than 100. Because I know 70 and 30 is 100. I know this one has to be greater than 100 because 6 and 4 or 60 and 40 has to be 100. Okay, I don't think these other two would be 100. So explain how you decided which pair of numbers you chose. Well, I did it because I just looked at the tens. Okay. There were more tens. If the tens were more, uh, the sum of the tens was more than 10, or 10 or more, it had to be more than 100. Okay. So I looked at the tens digit, digit in each pair. If the sum of the pair So again, I looked at the tens digits in each pair. If the sum of the tens in each pair was 10 or more, I circled that pair. Seven plus one, that was eight. I didn't circle it. Five plus three, that was eight. I didn't circle it. Six and four, that was 10. I circled it, it was greater than, it was 10 or more. Seven and five was 12. I circled that because it was 10 or more. All right. So that's it for lesson 4.7, continuing to practice addition. Um, you're now ready for the mid-chapter checkpoint. So um, until I see you next, I'll see you soon.